Hey Church, good morning. I'm Jonathan. I'm one of the um, members of Audacious Church. I just wanted to share with you with the devotions this morning uh, as part of the Audacious Missions team. Uh, we've returned from uh, Rwanda under the leadership of Pastor, Pastor Keith Reed, um, who's accompanied us, led the group, and brought us an awesome experience as part of the church in the first mission trip to Chabatanzi in Rwanda in May 2022. And I've been asked to share a couple of words about my reflection and uh, as well as what God has been speaking to us through the mission trip. So first of all, thank you for allowing me to share our experience. And I just wanted to keep praying and encourage those of you who have yet to embark on this journey to participate and partner with Audacious Church as part of a missions trip. Because there will be a lot of missions plan throughout the course of the year and please feel free to speak to any one of us um, who can share your experiences uh, our thoughts our reflections and the do's and don'ts for missions so first and foremost before we actually went for the mission trip this was a trip that was delayed for about two years and god has prepared our hearts leading up to this before and even during covid and we only managed to get onto this trip about a year and a half after it was initially planned. But during this preparation period, God had worked in us and prepared our hearts to proclaim and to be prepared for what he was about to do through us in the partnership with his community in Jabatanzi in Rwanda. We are reminded of the word in Matthew chapter 10, verse 8, that Jesus had commanded his disciples to heal the sick to proclaim the good news that the kingdom of God is here, to raise the dead, to cleanse those who have leprosy, to drive out demons. Freely you have received, so freely give. I believe this God of ours is a supernatural God. He calls us to heal as followers of Christ and to impact the lives of people around us. During this season, we have been open in terms of our eyes and the practical experience that we have and to witness how Audacious Church have sponsored more than 500 people for the health insurance to receive and get access to healthcare in the most rural and most deprived areas of Rwanda. The greatest impact was to watch and observe how this community had a first time access to clean tap water. They've had water in the underground, and they've had wells that they've been drinking from, but this is the first time in a long, long season where they've had a direct connection to clean tap water as part of the growth of the church to bring the community together. We witness the homes being built for the widows who have lost their partners during uh, in the past and we've also had the experience of ministering to couples through marriage counseling in the church hey hey we didn't sign up to it but we were told god was ready to speak to the men of the church during this season and we were asked to share our experience in our respective marriages and to reflect on our experiences it was such an awesome time to be able to spend with the people of rwanda and we felt that this this environment of devotion, of worship, and of commitment to the Lord really brought the whole village together, really got everyone together to, to experience what worshipping God truly is. We had a worship session that lasts about two and a half to three hours long, and there was about five to six hundred people from the entire village that was part of this worship. And it was just through all this wonderful, unique testimonies that we heard from the people of Rwanda and how they have been touched by the presence of Jesus in their lives and how we have been touched ourselves through listening to their testimonies, through, through their firm belief in the Lord, through their partnership, their fervent prayer and through faith. We believe that this season, as Audacious Church continues to partner with this church in Chabatanzi in Rwanda, called the Inguruziza Church or Good News Church, 
we believe that God is equipping us and equipping this generation to be ready to provide the manpower, the training, the resources, and the finances dedicated to transform this community through various partnerships and projects set out in the next five to 10 years and beyond. We remember that this is only made real through the presence of Jesus in our lives, not through our givings, not through our finances alone, not through what we can do through our, our gifts and our talents, but through the power of a united church, through the power of faith and through prayer. We are reminded that every time we pray, God is moving the mountains. God is moving through us to equip one another to, to move mountains. And this season, we pray that you will stand firmly in your faith and that you will choose to trust God with your talents and in any capacity or experience that God will be able to use you mightily in your workplace, in your homes, in your respective families. The true need is to avail ourselves to listen to God's word, to meditate on his words, and to remember that the power of earnest heartfelt prayer through the Lord will open doors and will truly make path in the wilderness. The word of the Lord says in Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 25, Do not remember the former things of old, nor consider the things of the past. Behold, I, even I, the Lord, am he who will make paths in the wilderness. And as we come together, we just want to have a point of reflection of how God will use us through prayer, through intercession, through the power of faith and a firm belief in his word, in the unwavering word of God. Which areas of our lives do we feel that we have to commit to God in prayer, in surrender, that God will be able to equip us, to use us, and to change our lives from the inside out, that we may be able to serve Him, worship Him, and also to, to influence others for Jesus. Church, we're so encouraged that we want to just keep praying for all of you, and we pray that God will use you mightily in your respective fields as you spend time in prayer this week, as you meditate on his words and his precepts. We pray that you have a blessed week ahead. God bless.